Hello, this is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. And welcome to another episode of Markets Tomorrow. And this is the daily technical analysis for October 12 to Tuesday, 2021. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much. So, Nifty finally hit the 18,000 of a lot of going ups and downs you know, during the previous weeks and finally we are there but could not sustain on that and closed low to at a lower level so now what let's see what next right so as you should be looking at all of these parameters you see as part of our pre macro analysis it's all on the charts you'll have screenshots of that and you would do additional Analysis of open interest, the institutional participation, the volatility, and the club commodities, and then some actionables, right? So let's get into that. So, what happened? It's it was nearly 0.880 percentage of of its initial that gave away, right? It's actually shut up, right? So, it's a 0.8. It's zero percent of the move and then made a new all time high. Hitting the psychology rounding number of 18,000, but it, it gave, gave away after that, right? Half a percent of that it gave away and said that point three zero percent of up more nifty. Magnify shot up 700 points, but gave close to five points. Not not gave five points, gave up. Uh, you know, 300 points and set the final points. That's mistake number two. I'm sorry for that. So, if that also hit an all time high. Both the indices hit an all time high. You know, Bank Nifty also hit that. And then, but it closed below the previous day's close. Right, previous day's high, basically. Right. So, there's a big breakout that happened from the previous lesson. So, it hit all time highs and then psychological rounding numbers. And then, literally, that's probably the problem that can be that. Right? So, in general, if you look at the Nifty, it's a rounding V shape kind of move, and magnitude is trending up, and that gave it to the end, right? So, we'll see all of that. So, border demands, so we'll see that for some connection. So, this is, this is a big break with around the left side of the Nifty, and Nifty is a little fire points, other points, candy, right? So, it's clear wide range bullish candy break out from the previous resistance. It did break out by Nifty also, and then it retrieved and closed below the previous side here. It closed above previous day's high, but it gave up a lot, half a percent. Look at the move on the left side on the intraday. And it shot up like anything, trending upwards, and then did a rounding V shape downfall and took support of the previous support or the no resistance one from where it broke out. Previous day's high and did that. The bank of the TFC intraday between this candle, you can see that it is trending up move and then gave up in the release. Later half probably it was from looking. So support resistance levels before we go that we'll look at what is mentioned here the 20 moving average. You can see that it's it's still about the 20 moving average of the Bollinger bands. The screenshots are not here, sorry for that. So yeah, so 20 moving average Bollinger band is is a good support down there. And um, the thing is in the Bollinger bands. It had fallen off from the upper band and then it was on the medium band, closed by and now the short back and hit the upper band both the indices. So that's the price action basically and the candlestick patterns and uh, the price moves basically, right? So we are seeing all this. So support resistance level, if you see that, you can see that the 79.50 had a um, resistance and then it was broken on 18,000 was, uh, it also happened with three retracement levels and and uh, now it's an uncharted territory, but from the larger position, says that it's 18350 higher. 18350 can be the next level to look forward to Nifty, right side. Bang Nifty 38800 can look for a Nachi projection extension. In the previous resistance, as you see, that 38350 is not going almost to 38500 near to that level, and then gave up. And then, right, if it falls down now again, 38000 will be good support after that. 7800 would be good support and after that 37,400 and then 37,000. A lot of good supports would there for bank to come that bounce back. So that's the rest in support and momentum divergence. If you see the momentum is very much in that now in the short term also bank and nifty, right? 
if you already was in bullish momentum now then you also fall back in the short term and there is also a weekly reverse divergence in both the SMT and the NFT but there is also an unconfirmed bearish divergence on the NFT and the gap flow right so that's the price moving up and then on the weekly which is a bullish divergence and that's the bank NFT which is weak which is moving up and that's also a bullish reverse divergence for reverse divergence is carried on the weekly high time frame on the daily time frame you can see that the bullish zones are intact here it is called bank NFT also got back to bullish zones but there is some kind of uh, bearish in the gap and the fuel price is going up and on the daily you can see that the momentum is slightly up so all of it is sun confirmed really it's daily draws a lot more number of bars are there so Normally, few number of bars, three or four, more or three, three, probably more than that. And we have to just keep in mind this chance. But this is a breakout up move. Is what it looks like. Yep. So momentum divergence on the high time frame is bullish. Long time frame is also bullish. Divergence are there, which is in support of further up move. Current indications is very interesting. Even after all the zigzag that happened previously, the momentum was bullish for long. The trend indicator ADX was showing bullishness about the anti and nifty pulling in the page. Right? Now it is very clear, and you can see that it is seen the dip is over, and then not only really is that in the bull zones, it is also rising up. And also, the strength of the green is the strength of ADX, and that is showing that the strength of the trend is increasing, it's turning upwards. This is also turning upwards from the bank nifty right side, and it's already in bullish zones. Right? So, that is trend and momentum is not only in that, it's it's superbly bullish. The weeks if you see have fallen down 70% from the top of 90 below the 60 lines and now it has caught back today nearly 3% of the pop move bounce happened from the lower level and let us regain the 16 levels right. So if black body is 15.4 and the IVP is 31.6 hope that IVP goes further up to the 75 levels so that meant to see sellers. IV yeah so that's the weeks Highly volatile, and uh, we can you know, further a uh, lot of space to move up where it was previous weeks, right? So, we have to be aware of that. Couple of scenarios, if you see, you can see that 7800 and 17000 is where the largest put trading is there for the next expiry, which is three days from now, Thursday, right? The optimist resistance can be seen highest at 18,000, the 10,000 has grown up after it was found good, and then above that, you have 18,500, and then Look at the put, put call ratio, it's 1.11 and it is definitely in the futures up and this was a long bell. High NFTPC 38,000 and 37,000 is the put writing we seen in this support. This and persistence is seen very far away, 39,000, 40,000 and 39,000 far away. So it is also a short covering. Short covering means that it's people have gone short suddenly to us. That means you know, it can give terrific moves tomorrow if it further moves up. Right? So 1.22 is the put call ratio is more bullish than the bank, so bank than the nifty bullish, right? So both the put call ratios, futures build up, and the charts all indicates that there is going to be big move, especially in the bank, right? It's big um, move that may come back. But nifty is the chart wise, the open interest, highest open interest is a resistance. It's 18,000 is going to be the big. Um, he is having the maximum resistance, but that will be taken away easily because open interest can change very often. Now there is a breakout happening. So, sectoral performance, if you see, IT has given up another 3.5 percent. The moment is already asleep, sleeping the sideways, and we'll just wait. Right? But the dollar is also catching up, so it can correct this. Maybe to this TCS results outcome, maybe then there is a report. There was a might have happened, but otherwise, IT should come back and regain the. Bullishness. It had made one attempt that had gone sideways in momentum and then caught back and then, then could not sustain it and gave up 3.5% down today after the TC fell. On the metal CPC, it closed again again, 1.5% up and the momentum remains sideways. So, wait, auto is breaking out. It's, it is bullish, right? It's previous resistance of good momentum. So, auto is the sector that is bullish, 2.5% up more. The former is sideways momentum, that wait, only 0.5% small body can form it. From CG also slipped in the momentum and but it closed in the near to one percent at the moment. Reality is the next sector after auto, which is bullish, which further removed and gained closing at 1.7 percent up, and that's 35 percent up more has already happened after that it corrected slightly, right? So it's a couple of handle breakout. So reality in auto, keep watch and pick stocks and trade. 
the operant risk institution data yesterday was showing that you know, last two days the FIS was selling, but um, today's results are not out. We'll just quickly have a look if it is common or not under money control. Just come and good. Yes, today's data has come, and you can see that the FIS are sold at 1300. That's surprising. 11th. 1300 of FIS selling and 373 of domestic institution selling. So, total of nearly 1700 of, um, of institutional selling happened. That means it's it, it was retailers who were purchasing. I'm not sure. So, but that's what the data shows me. No, can you data is showing like that, right? The institutions are selling today, but not buying. Only the retailers are buying. Don't know. Let confirm that but that's what it shows right so that's interesting how would that happen right let me just double check if that's true or not uh, once again just to get some confirmation Uh, yes, that's very interesting. Yeah, so here the data is not updated, but money control data is showing that the FIS and the AIS. So it's very interesting, but yeah, we'll double check that tomorrow. That's right. So if you look at the used uh, and the currency pair, it's breaking out. And since, you know, uh, on the right side, you have the US dollar index, it's breaking out and taking out this resistance, and it is trying to hit there. And there is the next resistance there up, and then it's resting there. But the current zip is not stopping, it's heading up towards and 75.5 levels. And but remember that it's a resistance, so breaking out of that is going to be easy. But the channel top that has been there has been blocked, and it's you know, probably it could face some resistance at 75.5 because some RBA intervention or something, and can fall down. Hopefully, but if it goes above that, it means it's going to hit 76, 77 the current level. So, or rupees weakening like anything. Crude oil is also going mad. 80.6 is what the charts are showing for the crude oil price. Right? This is crazy, insane, insane price hike is happening. It's a multi-year break or that's happening, and dollar is also breaking out with 75.5 levels. So, that's not good for the economy. Whatever happens in the market, in the stock market, right? This is something that will be also some point in time. Stock markets can also get impacted because of that, right? So gold, you can see, you can see that this is support, this is resistance zone now, which is a support zone, you know, and it's trying to hang on very close to that level, and it's not really dip even when dollar is rising like that, right? US market also now is showing some green, but you will have to that tomorrow. But no major big moves are seen in any of the indices, but. There is some variance in the European market, tax, CAC, and all that. But uh, UK is green, and then US market is also showing so some green as of now. It's too early to see the outcome of the pre market, as I said before. Now, actionables IEX is an Indian energy exchange. Its power companies are all rallying, so this is a power exchange company, and then seems like it's breaking out of the channel, and big breakout moves are happening since long, and this seems to be no stopping. Uh, it's at very high valuation levels as of now, consider that large move in short time. So be cautious when you enter, but it is definitely bullish on momentum trend everything. Uh, price patterns also clearly showing big huge up moves happening, right? And you no, know, just a few weeks but a few weeks back it was it was near to six hundred, so hundred points, two hundred points, three hundred points kind of move is happening in just one or two weeks. A little bit cautious, you know. Mm, uh, this is momentum breakout, so wait for some kind of small retracement that happened for swing trades, and it's not for intraday. Right side, you see Bank Nifty, which used to be Lagarde for a long time, has broken out of a big multi year resistance level and then it's heading up, making big moves, right? 300 or 400, just three candles. If three or four candles is out here, some big breakout moves are happening. Again, as I said, right, there could be some retracement that may come to take, which will give you opportunity for, for you know, for uh, swing trades or position trades. That amount of the position as well. Now, just to wrap up, it's mild bullishness from my side. Why is it 
why it is mild because profit booking is a mild date you know it already happened you don't know whether further happened or not whenever it is at all time high levels right you have to be cautious naturally so that's one reason markets has room for a lot of corrections because not big corrections happen any time can happen right it may be at 1800 500 you never know but you have to be cautious so that's why it's mild but bullishness is there is absolutely no need to tell why bullishness is this big strong up momentum and trend is what the indicators are showing when right? the price action is candlesticks are showing breakouts right every dip is getting bought you know corrections are less than 2 or 3% that's what is happening and every time a 2% down move happens it bounces back and gets bought in so definitely it has to be good it's not cautiously because not you know you have to you know, be aware that we are at a very 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 high level you know for time highlights so cautious about that volatility is cooled off from nearly 17% of pull off has happened from the 19 to 16 levels but so what does it mean that it can mean toward and go back now again to the 19 year by that level so it can happen so you know we are supposed to start to just work right that the counter spreads and and flies and all these things can work and which is at this high level and option is giving decent premiums also now as compared to previous months but the top is something that you know, it's too much right and today also you can see that it's a rounding v shape move and the v shape move has come even though we made big big breakouts you know, still the top is still there right so you have to be cautious on that and then keep the trades i hope this helps and if you like it and so Hitting the like button and sharing to your friends and colleagues and whoever you think can benefit from it. Thanks for your time. Um, thanks for watching. Happy trading and happy learning.